hi guys this is ola and i hope you guys are doing good um keeping safe and i kind of believe that you have been able to integrate back into society <laughs> so this video is not a tutorial and it's just going to be me talking about this project um to give you guys um, updates on several things so as you know we are done with the project and i appreciate all of you who have been able to work through with me and i've been able to create your own models also i would really like to see the things that you have created and if you are willing to share you can find my i think my twitter handle is somewhere somewhere around my channel page well so the model has been completed and we know that we had several kind of challenges in the process of creating this and by challenges i mean that some dimensions were not fitting properly and then we had to edit the parts i'm simply hoping that those occurrences enabled us to learn how to you know modify parts for our own projects so it's it's not a wasted um learning process because now we know that from the assembly we can always edit easily and other stuff like that all right but um due to the fact that the drawings or the parts were modified so i have created drawings for every single part um based on the final model um i've created that in pdf i think i would also place the dot dwg files um and make them available for you to use and also the provision of the drawings in the pdf and in the dwg format are for us to actually use to practice um, modeling our own parts this project is actually not that <laughs> difficult i think the only thing is that it takes time and that's all it's actually simple to do and definitely when you're done you would be impressed and i you know it just gives you a kind of um, fulfillment so i encourage you guys to try them out um in the process of creating your parts if you have difficulties you could always come back here to this channel to check through the videos and just to see the approach i used it's not necessarily um for you to come to copy the exact same thing even though that would be good also but i think it would just be better probably if you have difficulties in the methodologies to use in creating your parts you can always come over to this channel to check through the videos just to save as a reference so there are videos for all the parts used and all the assembly processes involved in getting to the final assembly so one of the things that we did in this project that was kind of weird is the fact that when placing these cylinder sub assemblies we just created a sub assembly for one cylinder and then patterned it around the crank case and in doing that we also patterned the relationships between these rods which means that whatever behavior the first cylinder sub assembly makes all the other cylinders sub assemblies are going to do the same um that is not ideal um but definitely that was done just to save some time in the process of creating the animation i'm definitely going to redo that and what i would be doing is i think there will be easier ways to fix that i'll try to see but for now i think i'm going to have to put, bring in the rods and the pounds one by one and place them individually with their respective constraints but it's possible that i would not have to do that um let's just see i don't know that yet all right 
The real thing is that in creating this type of project in which we see due to the fact that there are too many parts and then it gets complicated after a while. Um, like I said before, the assembly process is begun that it is usual to go through the skeletal modeling approach but that wasn't our approach and that is simply because we already had drawings um, available for us to use and yeah I kind of received some backlash for not using the skeletal modeling approach by some dude on the subreddit um, but then it's still cool um, nonetheless um, that is that so also I have uploaded these um, parts all of the parts that we created ourselves and placed them on my profile within a card community called grab card and you can always go there to download the parts if you intend to use it for reference purposes all right so for this project we know that all we have done so far is just to create the assembly and we haven't done anything complicated like um, animations yet but getting to this point I am considering creating an animation for all of this and so I would begin working on that soonest I don't know when but definitely I would like to see the assembly in an animation all right so I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far yeah um, I think this is where I'm going to be leaving thank you again if you are yet to subscribe to this channel do not forget to do so um, because I have um, an interesting project I'm trying to look into which is going to be available to us not very soon but <laughs> along the line I think I need to take a rest from this project already but rest assured I'm working on a new project which is not going to be this long so subscribe to this channel um, if you like all the things that you've seen so far yeah I know that the audio of my initial videos were kind of weird um, but I've been trying to figure out how to tune the audio and I think I'm kind of settled with this one. I don't want to stress myself too much. So we're just going to stick with this. And if you notice that the initial videos, the audios are kind of weird. Um, just bear with me. Alright guys. So I'll see you next time. And remember, keep watching this space. <laughs>